What's up guys, Cody here, and welcome back to another vlog. So guys, I hope you have been enjoying the channel lately. There's been so much big stuff coming out. Uh, one being the Jaws animation, the Five Nights at Freddy's animation, number two, and then we had two more Maverick and the Buzz animations come out, which you guys have just been demolishing every goal we, goal we set on those videos. So thank you so much for your support, and Atlanteans, you just are so amazing. Um, this vlog is gonna be a lot about, like, recapping what's been happening in the past two months. I know you guys like these when I do that, kind of give you guys an inside scoop as to what's going on in my brain, in Joe's brain, wherever Joe is, we, I don't know. Um, Joe doesn't like, he doesn't really like to be in front of the camera, uh, so he's a bit camera shy. And also he can't be in this one because he's over in Ireland. I think Ireland's that way, that way, I, maybe. Um, he's over in Ireland going to see Little Lizard Gaming, celebrating their one million subscribers. Um, now, I was gonna go, I just had too much stuff to do here. Um, so, kind of figuring out what I've been doing here at my house, at my house, <laughs> it's just been a lot of big stuff. So, I'll talk about what I've been doing here in a few minutes, guys, but I wanna go over some big stuff. So, we're gonna be heading to the Game Con. It's a convention over in Texas, um, Gavelston, I think that's how you pronounce the city. Um, we're gonna be going there August 8th to 9th. My birthday is August 10th, and Joe's is August 11th, so kind of after the convention we're going to be going to the Bahamas or something. We're going to plan something because get a little, get away from like recording and stuff. I know I love doing it, but I've just been stuck inside this house for like three months straight. <laughs> Besides going to Florida, I guess, I don't know, we just want to go to the Bahamas, take a little break, because um, I, I would imagine come time for summer we're going to be still stuck in this house recording until we die. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, we just work. We work really hard, and we love doing it. So taking a little break is always good. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be heading to Game Con. If you guys want to get tickets, they're on sale. There's still tickets left. You need to get them soon though, before they sell out. Um, you can come meet Joe and I. We're gonna be doing panels. We're gonna be doing meet and greets. It's gonna be awesome. It should be really fun. A little lizard gaming is going to a bunch of other YouTubers. And if you guys see this face, face, um, <laughs> come over, give me a hug, whatever. I mean. When we went to Minecon last, uh, 2013 November, uh, November 2013, um, I met a bunch of YouTubers, and then, you know, I never really met a fan in real life, and people were just coming up and hugging me, and I was like, no, 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 don't do that. I'm a kid from New Hampshire, or man, anyone, whatever the fuck I am. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I was just blown away that people actually wanted to like get my autograph. I'd, I'd never done that before. So I've kind of gotten a little used to, you know, you guys really going crazy when you see us. Um, which you still shouldn't do. You, should, you know, you can give a hug, but don't go crazy. I'm not, we're not worth going crazy for. Um, but anyways, yeah, go check out the GameCon if you guys want to get that. Um, but yeah, big news coming for the channel, guys. With the animations we've been rolling out, the Five Nights Freddy's, Jaws and other ones that we've been doing, we plan to double that. Um, yeah, our animators, we have them slaved down below in my lower basement. I'm in the basement right now. We have a basement down below. <laughs> and no, uh, we're just planning on working on a bunch of much more animations. We've been having a lot of fun uh, with these ones. You guys have loved the Jaws one, the Five Nights at Freddy's one, and we just plan to do more. Um, so the next one is going to be Clash of Clans. So you might see it in the kind of the uh, images I have scrolling through. Kind of a little spoiler for it. You should follow our Twitter for all these spoilers um, because I post them all the time. We're on my Instagram, Cody134. Joe doesn't really do the the spoilers on there. He says his Instagram he likes to keep clean and mine's all messy. Mine mine just shows like what I do in real life. I don't know and what's going on in the channel and stuff. Joe just he likes to be he pretends pretends he's a photographer and it has like these filters on it even like with his self. He takes, like, selfies. He'll put filters. No, I don't do filters. Filter. I don't need a filter. See, if you need a filter, there's something wrong with your face. So, take that into account when you do your next selfie. No filters. Hashtag no filters, ever. No filters. I do some filters. But that's on, like, I don't know, outside? Not my face. I don't need them for my face. Um, so yeah, we've been doing a bunch of animations and projects. Uh, the next one's gonna be Clash of Clans. Minecraft animated. It's gonna be cool. Um, the map we had made 
and we also had some like, custom models made, which we're probably gonna make into a mod, but I have a mod section, a Void's Wrath mod section that I'm gonna talk about today, um, later, later, so be sure to look out for that, and then we also have another project, we've been working with Freddy Saul, you guys might remember him from Supernatural Mobs, we're coming back, we're coming back together, the, the dream team is back, Freddy's here, and he's working on our next parody. I think I'm allowed to say that. Um, this is the biggest one we've done. Biggest one we've done. With the map we've had made, I, I think it's just gonna, the song, it's just gonna be amazing. No spoilers on that, except for the build. I put the build online. Um, it's a very cool build. You guys can see on my Instagram and the Twitter. And I, I don't think I ever said it was for the parody. Um, I just said it was a spoiler, so, yeah, you guys gotta sift through the pictures to see which one is the parody one, let me know. Um, before I get more into other animations, I did forget to say, um, if you guys want to comment down below a question you might have for me, or Joe, because when Joe's back, we'll do a Q&A, I know I said I wanted to do one, uh, but when Joe's back, we can schedule one and get it going, maybe in the next two weeks or week, maybe next Sunday, I don't know. I, li I like to do the vlogs on Sunday, so maybe we can make that happen. Anyways, rambling. Um, another animation parody that we plan to do, I can't say, um, we pretty much have, like, in coming soon, two parodies, four animations, and then, I'm not even, that's not, the four animations aren't even counting Maverick and the Buzzes. Maverick and the Buzzes, you guys have been really loving those. They're not getting as many views as the 3D animated ones, but we still love doing them, and, you know, maybe down the road, maybe we can even have a cartoon TV show. That I mean, that would be the hope. We've been, you know, making strides at that. So once we get, like, a big fan base established for that, we might, you know, look to go on TV. I, that would be really cool. Maybe, like, shorts on Cartoon Network. That would be really cool just being seen on that. But anyways, yeah, for now, we're going to be doing those, and we're also adding in mouth movements or mouth animations. You guys were suggesting it, and we're going to up our budget for it. It just costs a lot more to do those, so yeah, I will do it. Um, you guys wanted to see it, and we'll see how it comes out. It probably would be even funnier. Just, the animator does a great job. His name's Justin. He's, he's a genius. He's a genius. Um, but yeah, that's it for animations. Now what else do we have to talk about? Okay, let's talk about Loot Crate. Loot Crate. They finally sent my boxes in. I've been missing for the past two month months um, January's Loot Crate and also February's Loot Crate and they came in March. Go figure. I have them right here. Loot Crate, I, I, I want to do these. If you guys haven't seen Loot Crate before, pretty much they send you like, you, you pay like $10 to subscribe to them. Each month they'll send you a box like this, like this one, and um, they give you some very cool stuff. Now. I just, mine were delayed because they got my address wrong. You guys won't have that problem. Um, but anyways, yeah, I think this one is December's. Uh, if you guys want to get your own Loot Crate, link's in the description. Um, you can help us out by um, checking it out and going through us, because you do get do get a discount. And um, let's just, let's, okay, I got like a poster here or something, a mini poster. Let's open it. Now, I end up with like a bunch of trash at the end of these with just one. Um, like, stuff like this. So I have two of these I'm gonna open today. So let's see what this is. Oh, sweet! This little Pac-Man joystick poster. That's pretty cool. I wanna put that bad boy over here. And, what else do we have? Oh, a zombie larva bug. I think... I think I got one of these before. I, I, I wanna figure out what this is. Well, I'll probably turn it on and do some, like, something on Instagram showing you guys what it is. But it glows in the dark, it's like a little bug. I don't know if it's like... Controls? Oh, it moves around. It does. Yeah, I had like little ones, little like maggot ones. And they moved around, it was very cool. Um, what else we have? Oh, wow, okay. This is... A money... A money world? I've never seen this. It reminds me of one of those statues... Which you see like from Game of Thrones or whatever that kind of look like these characters. Um, but you get to draw on this one yourself. That's sweet. Okay, so what else do we have? Oh god, we got a big book. I'm not the biggest reader. Um, gonna say that. Ready Player One. Okay. That's cool. I'm not sure what it's about. I guess just games? 
Hmm. Something. I don't know. Um, a lot of the times, you get more than what $10 is. So, because they get like big deals and stuff. That's part of the post of that. Uh, they get big deals because they order a ton of the stuff, so you get like $30 worth of stuff sometimes, or you could potentially even get the big package each month, and that could be like $300, like an Xbox or whatever. Um, Super Fight Loot Crate Deck. I think this is a card game. Let's see what we got here. I love when I get like actual Marvel stuff, because um, I love Marvel, all the superheroes and stuff, it's really cool. Oh, so yeah, it's a big deck of cards, um, card playing game. Now. We got some other things, smaller things in here. Um, what is this? This is like a little bag with some stuff. I remember like we used to buy little little geo rocks or whatever, and they would have like cool rocks, and they would have the, they would have the same kind of like package. It's weird. Um, this appears to be like some dice, maybe for the game. I'm not sure. And then we also get a pin. They each, each month they give you a pin, and then we also have. Oh, we get the we got the um, the rules for the game. The uh, I guess it's a separate game. That's pretty cool. And this is like um, a board board game month, I guess. Huh? They give you like a uh, thing here each month. Go through it. Um, Co-op gaming history of game controllers. Oh, it's, it's got like a picture of a um, like a board game in the front. So I I would imagine that's why I got like the deck of cards, and everything else. So yeah, that was. Let's see what month. Um, this might be December or February. Might be February. Put a box over there, and we got loot crate number two. And then after we're done these guys, we'll talk about everything else to do with the channel, the series, Void's Wrath, and Void Collection. So, okay, what do we got this month? Oh, a Titan on the front. Attack on Titan looks like. Right in the front. That's cool. that's a really cool piece of art though. There is a ton of stuff. Oh, we got Titanfall. Everything about Titans this month. I did get a Titan shirt once, a uh, Titanfall shirt. Now what month is this? I want to make sure it's the right month. Because, yep, yeah, January. Cool. Because um, sometimes I do mix them up. I have a huge, or I had a huge box just stacked up. Um, and I put them with that pile. I did get rid of the pile. My girlfriend made me get rid of the uh, loot crate pile. So I can't open this one. I don't know what this is. It's a box. And it's holding what? A tie. Oh, there's a tie in here, I think? That's cool. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this. Look at that. All right. I love Star Wars. So I apparently got a um, Star Wars comic, Marvel. That's freaking sick. Now the last few things in here, guys, are a um, comic notebook. So you guys get to make your own comic book. And it's got like all like, see that? You got like the panels and stuff where you can make the different scenes. That's very cool. And then, um, what else we got here? Some papers. Um, okay, well that's really cool. Um, now if you guys want to get Loot Crate, down in the description, you guys can check it out. Um, I'll be doing March on time, hopefully, now that we've sorted out everything to do with that. And um, yeah guys, now let's talk about the channel and uh, get back to it. We have The Void's Wrath. So The Void's Wrath, uh, we've done a lot of stuff recently working on the back end of our launcher. Uh, we're adding in a brand new homepage to the Void Launcher. That's kind of what's been time consuming. There's just been a lot of stuff that you won't even see. Um, to get the homepage to work the way we wanted, to like filter through each mod pack for the news, um, it took a lot of work. We had to get our forum set up in a way that we could make a forum post on there and it would get projected onto the launcher. So it took a bit and a lot of money, but uh, that's coming along good. And then all the mod packs are pretty much updated. Um, every mod pack is moving to 1710, except for Dreamcraft, which is stuck in 164. Um, we're just stuck in time on 164 Minecraft. No, it just, the mods aren't updated that I want, like Warp Drive, one of the key mods in there. We have, um, what else? Star Wars, and they're just not updated, so that's not going to be a part of that. So Dreamcraft, staying in 164. Uh, Jurassic Craft updating 1710, adding in two dinosaur mods, Jurassic Craft and Fossil Archaeology. We're removing Train Craft and also um, Tropic Craft, which is a huge blow to the series. I'm going to be updating the server for the series pretty soon. I just need to figure out a way to keep our world intact. Uh, Tropic Craft, I want to add in, it's just not updated. Same thing with Train Craft. 
So once those come into play for 1.7.10 or 1.8, then I can add them back into Jurassic Craft. But we have some other cool mods added in, like Jurassic Craft and other things to the Jurassic Craft mod pack. Kind of weird. The, the name of the new Jurassic Park mod is Jurassic Craft, and our series is called Jurassic Craft, or the mod pack is called Jurassic Craft. It's weird. Um, so other mod packs, Crazy Craft 3.0. I can't say anything. This It's top secret, but it is being worked on. It is coming. You can put all the rumors to rest. It is coming, guys. So everybody spamming about Crazy Craft 3.0, be patient. Be patient. Because if I release it too soon, everybody's going to be like, no, it sucks. Yes, it would suck right now. But we need to make it different than Crazy Craft 2.0. And I do have to look after the server, the public server for Crazy Craft. Because if I change around everything, then it's just going to be like, wow. Server's broken. We need to start over again. Because it took two months straight of our developer just fixing mods to make that server like stable so it won't crash anymore. So you guys got to stay patient. Once we get everything sorted for 1.7.10, we'll update Crazy Craft 3.0. That's exciting. Now we'll keep Crazy Craft 2.0 and Crazy Craft 1.0 on the new legacy section of the Void Wrath launcher, um, like the mod packs. It's gonna be all legacy packs like Void Wrath 1.0. Um, speaking of Void Wrath, uh, Eternal Islands actually updated. Um, we have all the fixes that we needed to make the Void Wrath 2.0 mod packs. So that's happening uh, when we push everything all at once. It's just gonna be like a total rehaul, and that's been in the works since last August. It's been a long time. So once we get that all finished, everybody will be like, whoa. Everybody will be like, whoa. That's big stuff right there. Um, other mod packs that we have. Maze Challenge is getting added. Uh, Fellowship is getting renamed to Crusader Craft and updated to 1710. Um, yeah, that's a lot of big stuff, guys. If I'm forgetting any mod, Pokey Pack 1710 getting updated. I think that's pretty much it from mod packs. I might be forgetting one. Um, if I am, you guys will find out when it comes out, when it gets updated. So yeah, Void's Wrath website's pretty much done. Um, as you guys saw, we put the mod, Finance of Freddy's mod, onto the uh, Test Up Void's Wrath website. We're still keeping it called Test Up Void's Wrath because we don't want to release it without the um, the mod, all the mod packs being done. Um, so yeah, we're waiting on that and the launcher. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the mod packs. Um, talked about the delay of it, why it's been delayed, just adding new things, and then also the website. So last thing, I want to talk about mods. So Void Draft mods. We have been working very hard. We updated all the mods for like PokeCycle, Smog mod, um, Snowmobile mod, Jurassic Park Vehicles mod, Finance of Freddy's mod. Um, they're all updated. So they're all updated 1710. Once the website is fully done, I'll just release all those as well. Uh, we are working on some big mods, like the Clash of Clans one for the animation. Then we're also working on a submarine mod. And uh, the realistic mod, realistic Minecraft mod, we might just give the models to another developer who's making a realistic Minecraft mod. So we might just toss him over there so he can work on it. We just don't really have the time. Um, so yeah, Financial Freddy's mod, we plan to update pretty soon. We're also looking for developers, guys. So if you make mods, you know, comment down below or tweet at me where you show your work, what you've done, what type of mods you've made. And also we need modelers, Minecraft modelers, for making mods, and Minecraft animators. So not Minecraft animations, but Minecraft coding animations for mods. So if you do those, we're looking to hire people. So you know, try to, try to get a hold of me either on Twitter, comment down below, and we can really, you know, work together, make some amazing mods, make more mods. That's pretty much it to do with the Void's Wrath. Um, now to talk about the Void Collection, one of the last things I'm going to talk about. Yeah, guys, that's what I've been doing here at my house. We were working with Bionic. Um, they were trying to do all of our t-shirts, and they were trying to keep up with what they were trying to do, and it just didn't really work out. So that's why there was some delays with people getting stuff. And we really wanted to take it in our own hands and be responsible for, you know, providing the t-shirts and posters to everybody. So we actually went out and bought, like, a very, I'm not going to say the amount, it's a very, very expensive, it's probably mu as much of a as a car, a new car, um, printer. So we'll be printing t-shirts for you guys. I mean, I'm just, I'm scared, nervous that it's, you know, we're not going to be able to pay the printer off. 
I, I think we will because you guys have been getting the t-shirts. So, um, yeah, we are establishing us as a printer here. Uh, we are going to be fulfilling all the orders, doing everything ourselves, so you guys won't have to wait a month to get your t-shirts. It was ridiculous. I mean, they, they tried their best to be able to do in a timely manner, Bionic. They tried giving everybody their t-shirts when they order off the Boy Collection, our t-shirt shop, and it was just a month, and that was ridiculous. I, I realized that, and that's why we're correcting it and investing into this printer. Um, so yeah, with us getting the printer, we're able to print out some amazing shirts, get a new design on there, and just print it and send it out and get it on the website instantly. Um, so nothing's really changing on your end, as you guys are the customers buying all the t-shirts and stuff. Um, other than you guys will get your t-shirts very soon. Um, like sooner, if you'd like order today, or I'm not gonna say today, like say we, we have the printer and everything set up. If you ordered today, you guys would get it in less than a week. Um, counting shipping. Like we'll print the shirt and ship out on the end of the week. We won't wait, make you wait a month for us to start printing it. So with that being said, we are getting the printer tomorrow and we're also getting all the other stuff and we're setting up in the other room over there. We got like the metal shelvings all added in. We got the poster tubes all shipped in. Um, other than that, I, it will be like a week before we are fully set up and able to print the stuff. So everybody starting from February 15th to February, or to today and beyond, you have to wait for your t-shirts. I know that's like a very like, I've been waiting like a, half a month. We know. Um, but we aren't able to do anything. If you guys do want to um, wait, we're able to, you know, talk to you guys through the void collection at gmail.com, support email, and get you guys um, either a poster for your time waiting. Everybody that had to wait February 15th to March will get a free poster if they want it um, for waiting that long. And yeah, we'll be trying our best after the week to get everybody their things as soon as possible. So please stay very patient. If you guys do want to order your stuff, it's going to take a little bit, um, but it, you guys will get them and we'll work as hard as we can. We're still trying to make videos and everything to get you guys your t-shirts um, once everything's set up. Because once it's set up, there's going to be no issues other than, you know, the ones we have to get done as soon as possible so that everybody that ordered from February 15th when we stopped using Bionic as our fulfiller. Fulfiller is just like, they print our t-shirts and they ship them out. Once we get the printer this week, we'll have everything ready to go. We got all the t-shirts here ready to be printed on. We have all the poster tubes. So well, once we get those, we can start printing and start shipping out to you guys. I'm excited, it's just a big venture that we're going into and we hope you guys are excited. So be sure to support this guy's voidcollection.com if you guys want to get yourself some Atlantic Craft um, t-shirts. I'm wearing one of the uh, Void Collection specials here. Boom! It's on a turquoise shirt. Uh, we don't, we're not printing on these ones anymore. Uh, we did this for a little bit and they're very cool. They're very awesome. Um, it's the Godzilla side view, so be sure to get yours. I think we, we still have the blue one. We have blue, red, black, green, and purple that we print on. Um, but exciting times guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me ramble about stuff but now you guys kind of have a better idea what's going on in the channel but anyways guys thanks for watching be sure to continue supporting everything that we do um like the void collection the new animations you know just all that stuff i mean obviously we're doing something stupid don't support it <laughs> but we plan to do everything that's smart and cool and you know that you guys would want to support so if you like it support it if you don't you know let me know um but yeah big stuff coming soon guys i'm excited once Joe's back, we'll do the Q&A, and, um, yeah, Atlanteans, unite. In a world where Void's Wrath teams up with mcprohosting.com to have any mod packs auto-install straight to a server for you and your friends to play, go over to mcprohosting.com to get yourself a Crazy Craft, Dream Craft, or Jurassic Craft server today.